Hi, uh, in this video we are going to talk about this exchange energy. Before talking about this exchange energy, we want to know that uh, certain uh, things. Uh, what is the spin exchange interaction? Okay. Normally, uh, due to this uh, electrostatic repulsion, uh, this leads to two kinds of interaction. One is the charge correlation interaction, the other one is the spin correlation interaction. This is because of the electrostatic repulsion. Okay. Charge correlation interaction is nothing but when a two electron is being separated with a distance r. Okay. Uh, separated with a distance r. Okay. The, the coulombic energy will be coulombic energy will be e square my by r. That is, as the uh, uh, distance increases, energy get decreased and therefore the, it will be more stable. Okay. And what is the spin correlation? Spin correlation is uh, very important than the charge correlation. That is, uh, electrons of sp same spin will get will tend to move away. That is, if I am going to talk about uh, electron which is in, a, in orbit, in a suborbit, it, it, we will always place the electrons in this way. That is, one electron will be in a positive, positive half side. That is, if one electron is going to move in a clockwise direction, the other electron will move in an anti-clockwise direction. Okay. So, I cannot put, uh, we will normally not see the electrons with the same spin will be in a same suborbital. Yes. So, this is because that uh, the electrons with the same spin always tend to move away. Okay, so when it is going to move away, what happens? The energy will get released. So, what is this exchange energy? Exchange energy is the energy which is getting released when two or more electrons with the sp same spin uh, exchange their position in a degenerate orbital of a subshell. So, here we are talking about this d orbital. Uh, the d orbital will, we all know, it is it, uh, the suborbitals will be in a degenerate state. So, in the degenerate state, if one spin, one electron is moving away from the other electron, which is having the same spin, then that will release an energy and that is called as the exchange energy. Okay, it is a quantum mechanical effect to make, uh, to say whether the particular element is uh, stable or not. Okay, and it can be happened only with for uh, identical uh, particles. Uh, see, if exchange energy is going to be greater, okay, if exchange energy is going to be greater, okay, the stability will be greater. That is, it is energy released and hence if exchange energy is going to be greater, then the stability will be greater. The, how the exchange energy will be greater? As the number of unpaired electrons is going to be greater, then the exchange energy will be greater. How if the unpaired electron increases, what happens? It will exchange its position from one orbital, suborbital to the other suborbital. So what happens? This electron from this here to here will jump, here to here will jump. And because of this, what happens? Energy will get released. Okay. And uh, this release in energy will be greater and uh, the stability will be greater. Okay. And uh, this is based on the Kuhn's rule. For example, this exchange energy can be calculated uh, with the help of a formula which is uh, k into n into n minus 1 by 2. This k is called as an exchange constant. Exchange constant. And as n is the number of <coughs> n is the number of electron, number of electron. Okay. And here, if I'm going to talk about this chromium, here if I'm, I can talk about chromium. Chromium has an electronic configuration as 3d4, 4s2. And we all know the stable ground state configuration will be actually 3d5 4s2 4s1 so now we are going to check which is more stable with this exchange energy okay see exchange energy for this first case okay exchange energy for the first case will be k into number of electrons will be 4 for the first case okay so 4 into 4 minus 1 which is 3 4 into 3 by 2 so this will be like um, this comes out to be like uh, what 6k 
Uh, similarly, uh, the exchange energy for the second case will be uh, K into uh, what? Uh, it is having 5 electrons, so 5, 5 minus 1 will be 4 by 2, which is comes out to be 10k. So here uh, we can say that the difference is 4k. So here in this in the second case, the exchange energy is 4 times greater than the exchange energy of the first case. Since the exchange energy increases, the stability increases. Exchange energy is nothing but when the particular uh, electron exchanges its position. During this exchange, what happens? The energy is released during this exchange and that energy released is called as exchange energy. If it is going to be energy aqua or uh, energy, uh, if it is going to get energy for uh, exchanging this, then if energy increases, what happens? The stability decreases. So this exchange energy is not the energy which is going to be Acquainted. It is the energy is released and therefore this if energy exchange energy released is higher what happens the stability will be higher and hence therefore this will be more stable than the more stable than the the first one okay if I'm going to talk about this uh, chromia cropper cropper will have a d9 configuration which is 3d9 4s2 and the other one will be like this 3 copper ground state configuration will be 3d10 this will be more stable that we all know and because of this exchange energy only so 4 yes 1 okay here we all know that this d9 will be that is 1 the electrons will be in this way 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 5 electrons in same uh, which is moving in the same direction and 5 electrons which is moving in the opposite direction. So I have to calculate for both. So the exchange energy will be here. Exchange energy will be like uh, K into I am going to talk about this 5 electron which is in the plus 5 plus half what happens here? We have 5 electrons, so 5 into uh, 4 by 2 because 5 minus 1 it is 4 by 2 plus because I have two kinds of electrons. The other electron is in the opposite spin. Okay, I have four electrons in that opposite spin. So it is k into 4 into 3 by 2. So what happens here? I have uh, here I have 10k. Yes. 10k plus 6k will be 16k and what about this in this we have all five electrons uh, in a positive direction a plus half as a plus half spin and the other five electrons in a minus half spin okay so here what happens exchange energy exchange energy will be like K into 5, 4 by 2 plus K into 5, 4 by 2. So, which will be 20K. So, this will have more exchange energy than uh, the previous one, the first case. And hence, this will be more stable. <coughs> okay, understood? Thank you.